I figured while I'm in the midst of all of these beds, <laughs> I'm going to do this glass uh, vase because I just don't like it. It's not the right color and I'm going to make it into something that I like. So I'm gonna get started with a um, off-white color, like a creamy off-white and go from there. Yeah, I'm not terribly worried about the um, brush strokes or texture or anything because I'm going to add a bunch of texture onto this. So this is just the base coat. I'm starting it like this because I want the bottom to just kind of have one coat on it. I'm not worried about the bottom, but I just want to make sure it does have something on there. So I'm doing it like this so it will dry and then the rest I can paint all the way around it. So I don't have to wait for this to dry. While I'm doing that, I'm going to start messing with my bed. Okay, so I have two coats on this face and it's looking pretty good. We're gonna amp it up a bit. So since I'm working on this bed here, which you can't see, um, I've got all these colors out and I'm going to use some of the brown, the gray blue color and the charcoal to kind of give it another look, some more dimension, if you will. Probably not a ton of the charcoal and the brown, but just a little to add some depth. And then we're going to be using a ton of water and I've got my cloth to kind of sop everything up and give it like a model look. So let's do that. Anywhere colors are too heavy, I can just add more water and then blot it off.
Okay, so I have this where I like it. Baby's napping, that's why I'm being quiet. But I have this where I like it. I love all the tones. Um, I'm going to let this fully dry and then I'm going to do a whitewash on it just to bring all the colors together. So let that dry, be back in a sec. Okay, so we're going to start the whitewash. Um, I'm doing it a cheater way because I don't feel like cleaning out a mug and doing this. So what I'm gonna do is spray the bottle down and I've got my paint thinned out a little in the jar. And I'm going to slightly brush it on, add more water, and then keep doing the same thing all the way around the base. It's just a little chip brush. I like that it doesn't give a whole bunch of coverage. It's just very light because the brushes are so sporadic or bristles are so sporadic. And now I'm going to take it off. And this is giving texture as well. Okay, and as you can see, it just kind of tones everything down and makes everything look like it's much more cohesive. I love it. Okay, so we're just going to wait for it to dry, and then we're going to give it a wax. Um, you can add a lot of decorative finishes to it as well. Like I thought about doing some uh, mold appliques, but then I just changed my mind because I want something a little more sleek. But I'll probably do that on a future piece. So we'll wait till that dries and then we're going to wax it. Okay, it is fully dry. I'm just putting the wax on with a cloth because I kind of buff it as I go. I'm not going to be taking it off later because I just don't put enough on to need to buff it later. I do want to really make sure I get inside here. That is it. It's lovely. I'm very excited about this. And uh, we'll stage it up and show you what it looks like in some nice light. <laughs>